We're going to address here the subject of line types or line styles and the scaling of them both on our model space and also on the sheets in our viewports. So we'll start off with some basics on line types and if we go to the line type selector we'll see that in uh, a very rudimentary drawing we only have the three types there so continuous, by layer and by block. So this doesn't give us an awful lot of scope uh, for doing things like dashed lines, center lines and so on. Uh, if we want to use that type of line then we need to introduce them to our drawing. And the way we do that is to go to settings, drawing elements and import line styles. Here we'll see that we have a whole load of different line styles, borders, dash, divides, hidden lines, uh, batting, zigzags, insulation. So how do we load them up? Well we could select all or we could just pick and drag a number, we can use the shift key and we can use the control key to take ones in and out of our selection list. If we select all, OK that, then all of our line styles will appear within our selection table now. Incidentally, if we want to remove line styles from a drawing, we can do that with a pack. So we'd go to File, Drawing Utilities, Pack Drawing, and if we hit Pack, we'll see we've got all the line styles in there. Hit Pack, they will remove that will remove from from the drawing. But I'm just going to cancel that for the moment. Having introduced them, I don't want to have to do it again. So we have our our line styles. If we pick just a couple of line styles here, I'm just going to draw a line. In fact, we'll draw two lines there in that p dash times two, and then we'll pick coming down we'll pick the center times two I'll leave a little gap there and again we'll draw two lines in and then we'll choose something like batting so if we come down oh, there we go pick batting and we'll draw one to there and one just below and then just move that up Let's take a look at what we have here. We have a P line at the top, we have a, a, a normal line style, shall we say, and then we have a, uh, a batting type insulation line. It'll make things clearer if we go to the pen line set parameters here. The first line type, P dashed times 2, was from this whole section with a P prefix. These are pixel line styles as opposed to things like the batting and the center line that we picked there. They are vector line styles. So what's the difference? Well, with pixel line styles, and if we zoom in here, we'll see that the pixel line styles stays constant on the screen where the dashes and the gaps get larger with a vector. So if we just zoom in there, you see that stays constant, whereas if we zoom in on the vector line style, we could get to a point where we see it simply as a, a solid line or indeed as a gap on our drawing. So the pixel line styles are much easier to use in terms of general drafting because they allow us to, to see that a line is dotted or dashed or, or whatever it happens to be without having to, to achieve a certain zoom factor. However, the vector line styles give us access to things like uh, insulation loops, here we have the, the batting, and these will be a specific size. Now in, in terms of the, the batting here is 20 millimeters. We also have access within CADI to a whole range of line styles which will have uh, set thicknesses. Now we could pick one of those and we could draw 100 millimeter insulation.